Welcome to 1000 PS. Welcome to Motorcycle Live here in Birmingham. We're with Jordan Gibbons, managing of communications at Norton Motorcycles. Yes, that's me. We're celebrating 125 years of Norton with this amazing display. Yeah, as you say, so it's 125 years of Norton this year. Uh, Norton started only about eight miles down the road from where we are right now yeah, yeah. in 1898 and only a few miles away from the factory. So to celebrate that, we've produced 125 limited edition motorcycles. There's six different types, different colorways, and we'll start right here with this one, the Enerjet. So that's actually, if we go there, that is, as you see, the Norton. It was the first Norton ever produced. That one's from 1902. Wow. And honestly, I mean, it's still a runner, but honestly, when you ride that thing, you just think, how did motorcycling ever catch on? You need about four arms, six legs, it's terrible. But that's what we've has inspired this. So this is using the standard commando, it's 961. We do them in, in Cafe Race or SP version, this is an SP. And yeah, it's silver engine, all the Olin's forks are polished, just to look beautiful, classic, and look just like the original machine. Oh my God, it looks beautiful. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, and that's when it was just the Norton, because it was the only one. The Norton. Yeah, it was the it's one. fantastic. Yeah, so that was, just, that was the very first design from James Lansdowne Norton, the original founder, uh, yeah, 125 years ago. Cool, and then moving on, we're gonna go and look at the... Next it's the Manx. The Manx, my favorite. Of course. Jordan, we've moved on 50 years. We have indeed. To bikes that I love, because I love racing these old Manx Nortons. Yeah. And that just looks stunning. Tell us a little bit more. Oh yeah, it's absolutely fabulous. So the Manx is just such, I mean, it's a classic name in itself, but it's such a famous Norton. Of course, the McCandless brothers, the Featherbed frame, Daniel, Duke, Halewood, the list of people who've campaigned and raced these bikes, won TTs, untold stuff is amazing. It's got such a rich heritage, so how could we not yeah. build a bike that celebrates that? So there we've got a Commando SP built as the LE version. Yeah, so now we've got a black engine, beautiful silver tank, blacked out Olins, and it's got a carbon back on the So It's got a carbon screen, carbon chain cover, the works. It's just fabulous, celebrates everything that we love about classic racing Nortons. I absolutely love this. I think, that, I think this is probably my favorite of the collection. Yeah, well, oh, I'm torn. This is, I think this is my second favorite. I think my favorite is the one we're gonna look at next. Cool, let's go check it out. So we're moved further on. We've actually still got the Scrutineering sticker, Alton Park, 1973. 19, April 1973, yeah. So yeah, we jumped forward about another 20 years and suddenly, yeah, everything's changed. So the featherbed frame has gone. We've got a big box frame and this is a Formula 750 race bike. This was raced by Peter Williams. And then we've got the Transatlantic, as we called them, because um, that was the race series that it's yep. most famous for being raced in. So we've got the Transatlantic Commando over there. So again, so now we've got all black, uh, got an all black yoke, all black frame, foot pegs, clip-ons, but again, available in SP version. It's got the gold Olin's forks, but silver wheels. It's just, I, this, I think, I've seen these bikes a lot, and I, I think the Transatlantic is my favorite. It's just so iconic. Uh, it's the red, white, and blue just does it for me every single time, and that gold pinstripe. And of course, the, the race bike itself was so successful, so famous, uh, an amazing time for British racing. How can you not love it? Yeah, it does look great. It does look great. Now you've said it, I'm torn between the Manx and this now, but we've got one more to look at, yep. Well, we've got one more paint style to look at, but three bikes. So the next one is probably one of the most famous racing Nortons of all time, and that has inspired three motorcycles from our collection. So Jordan, we've jumped forward to 1993. You've got Ron Haslam's rotary Norton there, which looks, I mean, that is just iconic. That is Norton. That, yeah, that motorcycle and the noise. I mean, you must have heard those rotaries. Were up there. Uh, they're astonishing when you hear them. And also, yeah, I was talking to James Whitton the other day and he remembers racing, and he remembers, you know, an early rotary, I think it was an NR588, won the Power Bike International. Yep. That's what got the John Player sponsorship. Then it came to BSB, they came to the TT, and of course, who can forget, you know, it's not that bike, but Steve Hislop, 92 TT, Foggy, the White Charger, probably the best TT of all time. So, you know, those rotaries are so famous, that paint scheme is so iconic. So we've repeated that one over three models. So it comes in the SV, the CR, and the Commando, and they're all called 588, because all the rotaries were 588cc, including the Rogue Going F1. Um, so these are, these are actually, I think these ones are the most popular with the crowd. Everyone loves this. Everyone loves Haslam's bike and those scenes. And this has been a, a really, really popular series for us. So like I said, the whole collection is limited to 125. The Commandos are 1899. The CR is 4999. And the SV is 5199. And it's 125. 
not including these. Once these, I mean, these all these are gone. Yeah. And then 125 done. No more ever. And that's it. I'm so happy that Norton have done it. I think they look fantastic. I'm, every time I look at a different one, I'm torn between which one I actually want. Now I've seen the Ron Haslam bike. Yeah, I, yeah, that's it. I mean, I, I was just saying, oh, is it the Manx? Oh, is it the Transatlantic? Now I've come here and remind myself this 588 SV is just so gorgeous. And I love riding the SV, although, to, like, for me, it's the Commando. The noise of the Commando, the feel of the Commando on the road, it's got to be a Commando for me. And yeah, I think it's got, yeah, it's that transatlantic. Get me every time. I reckon there's going to be a there's, a, there's a space in my heart for one and hopefully a space in my garage as well. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got any spares, you know where I am. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll post it to you, Chad, sure. Cool. Cheers, mate. Thanks for your time. Right. Cheers, mate. What an awesome display of Norton's put together. I mean, the Ron Haslam rotary bike just behind us. It's a shame we can't fire it up because it does sound epic. But let us know which one you prefer, which is your favourite of this new collection. For me, it's probably the rotary, but give us a thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe.